Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Kat, and welcome back to the bookish side of me. Welcome to another reading vlog. I am so so excited to share this video with you and Yeah, that's my mom. I'm sorry, but by the time that I was filming this video I've already done the reading vlog. I've read this books already So anyway, this idea came up when I've learned that February is actually black history month and I just thought to read more books by black authors this month So I just wanted to dedicate and highlight this whole video for them All right So the first book that I've read for this reading vlog is actually one that I just spontaneously ordered from book of the month, but I've heard that this book is painful to read and then it became a book club pick for my book club which is talk bookish to me we bother at this book for a week and i really enjoyed the discussion which will be included in this reading vlog but the book that i'm talking about is the death of vivek og by akwiki and mezzi and i have so many thoughts about this one and then the next book that i have read is also another one that's hype in the community and i'm just really so excited to know what the hype is all about and that book is get the life chloe brown by talia hibbert and also i have some thoughts i have some thoughts about this book but yeah i'm gonna share it later and the last book that i have read for this one is a non-fiction by one of my favorite black authors the book that i'm talking about is stamped racism anti-racism and you by jason reynolds and ibram x candy and as i've said this is a non-fiction and jason reynolds is one of my favorite authors of all time so these are the three books that i have read for this reading vlog so now let's go to the reading vlog and then later you're gonna come back here and know my thoughts about these books but for now let's go let's see it see you later Hey everyone! So first off, I am so sorry I wasn't able to vlog the full day. And also, if you want to ask me if I read for the day, the answer is no. <laughs> I haven't read even a single page of this book. I'm gonna fix that tonight and then update you later with all the stuff that's been happening. I got myself some milk tea, some boba. Let's read this book. Let's read. Good morning. I've reached a few chapters last night. This author, they're doing the great job. The writing style is just so beautiful. It's lyrical. It's poetic. The prose, oh my god. I love it. I'm gonna read more book by Akwiki. Amazing. For sure. And I feel like this book will hurt me. Like in the first few pages that I've read, I feel like this book will break me. I'm gonna bring you with me today. Let's go. Hey everyone, so. I just finished publishing my new video on my channel. It's gonna be linked down below. It's about the top 21 books that I want to read for this year. So yeah, it's a fun video. I made something special about it. But anyway, it's still 9.30 p.m. So I'm still going to read this book that I haven't read for the whole day. I'm just gonna update you with my reading progress. I'm sorry if I look so haggard. I am like 
40 pages away from finishing this book. All I feel right now is just pain. I'm feeling so much pain. I haven't cried yet with this book, but my heart is so heavy. Anyway, I'm just gonna finish the last 40 pages and update you later. <laughs> if I'm still alive by then. But for now, bye. See you later. I finished the book like a minute ago or two minutes and um, I talked to some of my friends who I am bother reading this with and it's still making me cry like I need to breathe oh my god when you realize everything in Vivek's life it fucking hurts it fucking hurts so I'm going back to you tomorrow when I am so much better and when I am not like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this face. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I just got home. I went to work and did some errands, but right now I'm home and I'm finally done with all my deadlines for the week. So tomorrow is holiday, which I am very, very excited because I can read without anything else. So just a few updates for you. I started this book, Get the Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hebert. This is my second book for this reading vlog because I feel like I need a romance to balance all the pain that I felt in the last book that I have read. So I started this one earlier and I reached a couple of pages. Nothing really extreme yet but yeah I'm good with it. So also I downloaded the audiobook for this one that I am planning to get to this week as well. It's Stamped Racism, Anti-Racism, and You by Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kendi. Um, this one, I just want to read it in audiobook because I found out that the narrators are the authors. So how cool is that? So I'm going to read it in audiobook and then probably simultaneously read it in physical copy. Hopefully, wish me luck that I could finish these two books until tomorrow. That's my goal. I'm just gonna stop talking right now and read because that's that's what I want to do. I'm just gonna read. So for now, bye. See ya later. I'm gonna update you. <laughs> later on. Bye. Good morning! Oh my gosh, so I look like a mess, but right now it's morning, it's a Friday, it's Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year, y'all! Taylor Swift, she's about to drop the new versions of the Fearless album in the next few months. And I am so dumbfounded last night. I stopped reading. And I listened to Fearless, the old version, for hours until I fell asleep. I was too emotional. Oh, by the way, she's also going to drop the new version of Love Story today. Like in a few hours. I'm gonna be speechless the whole time. Okay, there's too much noise. Let's go. Let's have breakfast. Let's have some coffee and read this book and wait for Taylor Swift to wreck me the whole day. Bye. See you later.
everyone happy saturday i'm just going to update you with the reading progress that i have so as i've said i started this book this is um get the life of chloe brown and i was reading it last night but i stopped for a minute so i don't know where am i but i am on chapter 13 page 191 out of 300 something and then i also started this book as well this one i've downloaded the audiobook and i was listening to it and it's just so freaking good it's the audiobook of this book is chef's kiss if you have the resources the capacity or the capabilities to get the audiobook for stamped go ahead and do it. Jason Reynolds is reading it and also Abram X. Candy like gave an introduction and yeah, I'm I, I'm loving it. I'm currently 50 plus pages in right here on chapter 8 and I am listening to the audiobook but at the same time, I also read it in physical copy because I love highlighting this book. I've I am learning so much. It's just so good. I'm so excited to finish this book because I feel like I will learn so much. In my opinion, this is the kind of nonfiction that's kind of tackling or discussing the history of something, but it's not info dumpy. It's not boring. It's not overwhelming. It's just the right amount for me, the right amount of creativity and humor at the same time. And it's Jason Reynolds, so there's no surprise in here. Once I'm done, with either of these two books, uh, you're going to get an update from me. But right now, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for listening to my voice. And I hope that you're having a great day. Bye! everybody welcome back to the sit down video of me and i'm going to wrap all the books that i've read for this reading vlog i hope that you enjoyed it and yeah for now i'm gonna give you my thoughts and my quick review about these books but i just want to say that i also put up my review on bookstagram and on goodreads so if you haven't followed me on either of the platforms please do i'm gonna put the links on the description box and also all the trigger and content warnings for these books are on the description box. Please do check this out before anything else because I might forget a lot of things in the video. So I just want to make sure that I will cover everything. But anyway, let's do this. Let's go. So the first book that I've read, as I've said, this is a book club pick for Talk Bookish to Me PH. And this one is The Death of Vivek Oji by Akweki and Mezzi. And this one is a adult fiction. It actually follows a story of Vivek Oji. And you already know by the title and by the beginning chapter that Vivek Oji will die in the end. In this very short book, you're trying to find out what is his story and what happened to him, how did he die, and all that whatnots. So anyway, the story will start when his mother will find his body in front of their door. I think that's all that I have to say. If you are looking for like the full synopsis, it's gonna be in Goodreads. Go ahead and check that out. But what I want to say about this book is that it will revolve in Vivek Oji's life and the people around or surrounding him. And also this is set in Nigeria during 1980s to 1990s. So it's kind of like a historical fiction, but it's just very introspective. But at the same time, it also reflects the culture of Nigerian and a lot of societal and political issues that are kind of sensitive to talk about, but this book just did it so well. So, let's move on to the things that I really liked about this book. 
first one i just love the writing style so 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 much like i gush about the writing style of aquaki and mezzi this is my first book by them and i just i just love it so much it's very poetic it's very lyrical it's so easy to imagine the situation that i am in the imagery the scenery it's just so easy for me to to understand everything i also love the characters in this book i think that they are all developed well their arcs their complexity they are definitely not linear characters like you will not see a linear development of each of the characters in here especially vivek og but you will see like the reality and the emotions and the rawness of their feelings and emotions it's just so evident in this book like this book is just full of emotion it's so intense like you you don't know what's right or wrong you don't know what's moral and ethics and all that you will just feel so much with this book i can't help but cry if you've watched my reading vlog there was a point that I really cried so much. Like, I closed the book and then five minutes later, I'm still crying. And it was just too much emotions for me, but in a good way. Like, I love that kind of emotion. It, it challenged my thoughts. It provoked my thoughts and beliefs. It, it questioned me about my morals. This book just made me think and feel a lot. And I just love when a book does that to me because it means that the author reached to my soul and to my heart that I, I felt so much and I know right now like I'm just gushing all over this book I don't have any structure but anyway I'm going to write a concrete review about this but it's gonna be in Goodreads so I hope that you check that out but for now I just really love this book alright so the second book that I've read for this reading vlog is one that I expected to make my heart kind of light and fluffy because I planned it out like after Vivek OG I know that I have to read a very light book and something that will make me happy and giddy and all that stuff and that is Get the Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert this is an adult romance so it follows Chloe Brown and Redford Morgan this is an enemy to lover trope but I can't really say that they really hate one another from the beginning because I feel like they are just kind of misunderstanding each other. So it started when Chloe was in an accident and it almost killed her. And because of that near-death experience, she thought of making a list, like a bucket list, and she called it Get a Life. And then one day she will get acquainted to Red, who is like a superintendent of the building where she lives. So yeah it's gonna be a cute romance and just not cute because there's also a lot of smut in this book which i was really surprised when i read it and this is like a perfect balance of smut and wholesomeness of a relationship and i just love it so the things that i really liked about it first off are like the two characters the two main characters that we have i really think that they are fleshed out well developed they are flawed they're very realistic they are just so raw um i love the emotions and the conflicts that their characters brought to the table while i was reading the whole book i also love their complexity like they complemented one another and i kept on saying this all the time that what i want in romance is actually a healthy relationship i just want a portrayal of non-toxic unproblematic healthy relationship that's all i want and this dude just gave it to me so yeah actually those are all my thoughts and opinions about this book i haven't written my full review yet but i am going to in the next few days so if you are interested again it's linked down below but all i can say is that this is a good romance i find this book really interesting important as well and very killing I just really enjoyed this book so much although it's not really a favorite of mine so far this year I just liked it and I enjoyed it but I don't think it's going to be a favorite of the month or of the year I highly recommend this to anyone who likes complex characters and romance that has smut and wholesomeness at the same time so yeah go ahead and check this out Alright, so 
the last and the third book on this reading vlog is the non-fiction that I have and that book is Stamp by Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kendi. So as I've said earlier, this is a non-fiction. The writing or the content itself is by Jason Reynolds but this is like a remix of a book from Ibram X. Kendi from 2016 which is stamped from the beginning. I'm gonna put the cover in here and Ibram X. Kendi gave a foreword and an afterword in this book but also this is the inspiration for this one and I just love this book so so much. I cannot gush this enough. I this is definitely my first nonfiction book this year and I just loved it. I actually highlighted the book which I don't usually do nowadays. I only highlight books for academic purposes but this one just oh my god I, I've learned so much in this book and I just want to read it all over again because of how important and how educational it is for me. I had multiple goosebumps while reading this book and I can't review this book properly. I am not the right person to do it. I cannot validate or invalidate or say anything about what I've learned in this book. All I want to say is that I realized so much and it taught me so much and I highly highly suggest for you to check this book out because it's just so important and because of that I'm going to put some own voices review on the description box about this one which will help you understand what this book is really is so this book definitely a top fave for the year of 2021. I, I just felt so grateful that I was able to read this book at this point and to read it from one of my favorite authors. I hope that you won't feel like intimidated by this because it's kind of a history of racism in the US because I tell you if you've read a Jason Reynolds book before this is just how amazing he writes. Aside from the facts that you will get from this book like the information and all the details you you will also get some commentaries from him like social and political commentaries from the author himself. I highly recommend for you to pick this up. I haven't talked about anything else in this book but just pick this up and know inform educate yourself how deep-seated the black racism in the u.s and in other european countries i also highly recommend the audiobook if you can't get yourself the physical copy at least get yourself the audiobook it's it's amazing it's chef's kiss the authors are the narrators and i cannot i cannot gush about this enough i love jason reynolds audiobooks because he always is the narrator and in this one it's still it's so good it's so good it's so good oh my god i can't i can't stress this enough but anyway i'm done so yeah that's it for this drop off video i hope that you bear with all the noise in my background but these are all the books that i have read through this reading vlog these are all top tier books in my opinion i really enjoyed them a lot and I just want to read more books by these authors. I want to read more books by black authors. Alright, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you reached this part, please comment below what is your favorite book by black author. So I want to know what are your favorites and if you can recommend me some, I'd love that. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and yeah that's it every details everything you want to know is on the description box go ahead and check that out but for now i'm gonna go bye see you later <laughs> i hope that you're safe you are healthy wherever you are and just remember the world is yours for the reading bye and see you on the next one